Of all the pleasures and responsibilities which come to a university, one of the greatest is that of welcoming its new members to the collegiate body to unite into one family the individual members of its academic group. The spirit that is Indiana knows no limitations of age, color, creed, doctrine, social, political, or economic bounds. The Indiana that welcomes you here includes in its membership all parts of the collegiate body, from the youngest freshman to the oldest member of the faculty and of its administrative staff. It includes all those who have come for the purpose of seeking truth and intellectual freedom. Of such, it requests that they partake of its spirit and feel themselves shareholders in its privileges and in its responsibilities. The spirit that greets you here is the rich heritage of a glorious past made possible by students who, like yourselves upon entering the university, felt strangely far from home and intimate friends, but who soon adapted themselves to their new environment. The university covets for each of you a like experience. The traditions of the institution must be carried on by the entering classes who take up and carry on where the graduating classes leave off. As rich as is the heritage which you find here, it should be and must be made richer and better because of your having been here. Soon, even to those of you who stay the longest, will be given the commencement farewell. The credit which you eventually reflect upon the university will depend to a great extent upon how you conduct yourselves in the interval between this induction and your graduation. Make the most of the opportunities while here. Acquaint yourself with the best traditions of the university. Leave here richer in tradition than when you entered. Such is the law of progress. All that has been and all that is of the spirit of Indiana University welcomes you unreservedly.